What's up guys, Mike the Code here. Today we're gonna go over another problem called cards on Spaj. Basically you have some, you're, you, you're given the level N and you wanna build a pyramid of cards with it and your, your job is to just output how many how many cards it would take to build a pyramid of, of uh, level N, okay? So for example here we have, the input example is three. So we have two input statements, two, and then there's three. Uh, there's uh, two input statements. So the first one's three and then the second one's seven, All right? So how many cards would it take to build a pyramid of level three? So in this case, this is a pyramid of level three. And the reason why is because we have, if you look on the top cur cursor, there's uh, if you look at my cursor, there's one level here, there's two level here, and there's three level here. The bottom level, the top level, the middle level, and the bottom level. So now if we count all the cards it would take, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it would take 15 cards to make. And it's the same thing over here. If uh, if you do seven, it would get 77. So basically this problem just uh, tests your mathematical ability to, I don't know, just come up with like, come up with a number of cards it would take. So like, uh, we could just draw out the cards. It's pretty, it's not that bad. So here, let's try uh, first level. So with first level, there's two cards, right? There's two cards right here. We have two cards. Oh, I'm using paint instead. That's crazy. All right, we have two cards here. So that's two cards. And the next level, uh, in, so this is level one. Right, level one, one, so this is level one. All right, so now uh, we want to see level two. So this is level two. Level two, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe it would be seven, yeah. One, two, yeah. So it would be seven for level two. Okay, assuming I'm counting this correctly. And now for level three, let's just see what level three was. So I think we said it was 15, but I wanna make sure that I'm counting this correctly. So we have this one, two, three, four, five, six, do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, so sorry about my drawing skills, but these are supposed to be cards, it's supposed to be cards. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, I'm missing one, am I missing one? Oh yeah, there's one right here, 15, yeah. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait, am I missing one? Yeah, so we know we know for three levels to 15 though. Now let's look at four. Um, so let's, I'm gonna go back to just look at the drawing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, so now let's look at, let's look at four. So for four, let's, let's see what it looks like. So remember we have, uh, let's actually start from the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's like this for this and then we have a uh, gotta make sure I'm drawing this correctly now this is really this is really difficult it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort a lot of energy to make sure these are the right number of cards okay so I think that's right I think hopefully it's right all right so let's see how many cards would take so we take one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So I think four would take 26. Okay, so given this, we need to find the that bad. It's not that difficult. So let's ignore the first case because like this is pretty difficult for the first case. But um, so let's look at this. So look at the other levels. Um, for for let's uh for each of the triangles, it takes three three cards, right? So like, if you look at this top triangle it takes three cards, one, two, three, right? And then uh, this, this top triangle takes three cards also, one, two, three, right? So all the other cards, uh, all the, tri all the triangles take three cards, right? So every triangle is three, three cards. So it takes three cards for each like triangle. Now for the ones on the bottom, um, the ones on the bottom, except for the ones on the bottom, right? So the ones on the bottom, there's no, they don't have the three cards because the uh, yeah, for the last row, you see, there's no there's no card on the bottom, right? Just one, two, three, four, right? There's no cards on the bottom, right? For the last row, so pretty much except for all like the levels, there's always three cards. But then the bottom one, there's no there's no cards, right? So then that's why for every triangle, there's there's three cards, and the bottom one there's none, right? So, so let's let's just count how many cards it would take for like ignoring the last row, okay? So in this case, uh, how many triangles are there? Well, there's for the first second level, right? For this this case here, 
there's one triangle, right? So this would take three cards. So assuming we're not, we're going to ignore the last row. So this would take three cards, right? And now let's look at this one. Okay. Uh, for this one, how many triangles are there? Well, uh, there are, there are uh, one, two, three, there's three triangles, right? So then this, uh, because for each of those three and three triangles, and then there's uh for each card is there's, it takes three cards to make uh, a triangle. So it's going to be three times three. So it'd be nine. And you could count it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the, the top one it would take nine. Okay. Now let's look at this one. Okay. So let's count how many triangles there are. So in this case, um, we have, uh, this is a little difficult. Okay. So we have one here, two, three, four, five, six, right? There's six triangles, right? We're just counting the triangles, um, for the, for the cards, right? So there's six triangles and then there's three cards per each triangle. So three times six is about 18. Okay. So I hope you guys are starting to see a pattern, right? So, um, yeah. So for, for each of the rows, there's, uh, wait, is there 18? you can see a pattern here. Basically uh, we're just, um, adding up for each level, the number every single time. Right. And then, um, basically for each level, we're adding it up and then we're going to multiply by three. So in this case we have three, right? Uh, the first level, there, there's only one level without the bottom, not including the bottom level. There's only one level, right? So then our answer is just going to be three times one. So that's three. All right. Now for this one, how many, how many levels are there excluding the last level? There's two levels, right? One, two. So now, um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do one plus two through for a three, right? And then we're going to just multiply it by three and that'll give us nine, right? Three times three is nine. Now, if we look at this one, 18, we have a uh, one, two, three levels, right? One, two, three. And then now, um, we're just going to add them up one plus two plus three and then multiply by three. So now we have one plus two plus three, then multiply it by three. And that should give us uh, five plus six, six times two is 18. Yeah. 18. That'll give us 18. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. And that's just all the cards you see here. So now for the, for the rest of it, uh, we just have now have to count the last row. So, so for including the, just the top rows, um, what we do is just, we just sum from one to N. So like whichever level we have, so we have four, like we just sum from one to N and then we just uh, multiply it by three. So that's basically the, not including the last row. So now let's actually talk about how to include the last row, include the last row. Um, it's basically the same thing as what we just said before, but now what we're going to do is that, um, we're just going to pretend that we have all the values for the last row, but we're going to subtract by the number of, uh, level cards on the last row, like the last level. So uh, I'll just explain what I mean by that. So in this case, we have, um, two levels, right? Two. And, uh, remember before we just included the first level one and we just multiply it by three, right? But now what we're going to do is we're going to assume that every cards, including the last row has like a third, a third, uh, bottom card. So we're going to pretend that there's like a card here and a card here. That's what we're going to do. So in this case, we're just going to pretend it has it. And then after that, we're just going to subtract it. So in this case we have one. So we have, uh, actually we have, uh, one triangle, two, and then three. So we're going to do one plus two and then times by three. So that's going to give us three times two is nine. So now once we have nine, we're going to subtract the card, uh, the last cards from the last row. So we have this, this card that we're not going to include and this card that we're not going to include. So we're going to do nine minus two and that gives you seven. So now let's look at the second one. Um, this is basically the same thing. So we have uh, one triangle, two, three, and then, uh, here we're going to include this one also. So four, five, and six. So now these are all dots by the way, dots, dots. So what we're going to do is we're going to take like, um, yeah, so we're going to do, uh, how many levels are there? It was one, two, three. So we're going to do one plus two plus three multiply by three. So that should give us, uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, one plus two plus three, uh, three times three, uh, three plus three is six times three is 18. And now we're going to subtract by the last cards on the cards on the last row. So that's just one, two, and three. So the last cards on the last row, there's three of these, three of these dot dotted cards. So we're going to do 18 minus three. So give us 15, All right? So then now we're going to do the same thing for fourth. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten triangles. So we're going to do um, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is a uh, four plus three, seven. Is that one? I don't even know if I added that right. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna sum up one to four. So we're gonna do uh, one plus two plus three plus four, multiply by three. Okay, so that gives you uh, three plus three, six plus four, then thirty. Gives thirty. Yeah, and then we're gonna subtract by the bottom number of values of the last row. So that's thirty minus four, twenty-six. Yeah. The, so yeah. Um, so now if we just write a math equation for this, it's not that difficult. I mean, let me just clear the whole thing up. Uh, uh, select all and just delete it. So if you want to write a math equation, it's pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to sum for, for starting from one up to N, which is N is the row, right? The levels, number of levels. Uh, so we're going to sum it up. And then after that, we're just going to subtract, uh, we're going to multiply by three. So we're going to sum up and then multiply by three. And then we're going to subtract uh, all the last values in the last row, all the cards in the last row, so minus n. So yeah, that's all you have to do. You just sum it up and then multiply by three and then minus n. So yeah, uh, I'm going to now code it for you guys. I didn't actually, didn't actually uh, do this yet, so I'm going to do this real quick. Uh, let me see, how many test cases? Oh, there's t. Okay, so this is good. So um, yeah. So to sum up values, you could use the formula for, to sum up the values from one to n. Uh, it's just i times i plus one over two. So yeah, do that. Multiply three minus n. Um, we're gonna do that. Oh, my battery's running low. But yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do this real quick. Submit it, and then that's it. We'll be on our way. Okay. So let's just call solved. C and n called solved. All right. So what we're gonna do is here. Okay, so he, I read, read in the test cases, read in Q, uh, read in test cases, so keep subtracting each test case, read in the number N, and now we're going to call it, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, I use long, long, because that's a value. Okay, so this is going to equal to, let's sum up all the values, so this is going to be sum, the sum, so it's going to be N times N plus 1 to over 2, right, and this is because that's the formula to solve this summation from 1 to N. Right for each i, so that's the formula to solve that. And then after that, uh, we're going to take the sum, see out uh, three times sum, and then we're going to subtract it by, let's see, n. So yeah, that should give us the answer correctly. So yeah, okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to submit it, and then I'll be on my way. Yeah. Okay. I got AC. Yeah. I guess the problem was it was just because of the million, and apparently you can't you can't do that before you print it out. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. And yeah, I'll just show you guys the code again. Uh, yeah. So the problem was was that um, look at the solve code. You're supposed to mod it afterwards, and the mod is supposed to be uh, one million seven, and it's supposed to be long long int. So yeah. Uh, just make sure you mod the value afterwards. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.